What's going on everybody? Welcome to another unboxing video. For this unboxing video, we got some really sweet unboxing to do on these KC 6 inch Apollo 100 watt lights. Now these, I've been wanting lights for quite a while. Now KC's are, um, I don't know, there's, there's a couple of lights like these out here that you can get for your truck, your, your off-road vehicle, your Jeep course it's for my Jeep and um, anyone who has a Jeep even the even the new ones even the uh, the 2013-2012 JK's the uh, the headlights are really nothing special as a matter of fact headlights are pretty crappy compared to other vehicles like in the same class or genre especially if you're taking your Jeep off-road anytime later at night uh, even highway driving for me when I when I have my TJ I just have stock uh, headlights the the high beams really nothing special I mean it's just barely adequate so getting lights is just it just it's kind of like uh it's like candy almost it's it's one of the fun things that of everything I've bought so far of anything I've unboxed I mean I've gotten like the grill guards you know the uh um the light guards the grill inserts the everything's been a lot of fun but these KC lights I've been really excited about now uh these are like I said they're the Apollo Pro series they're long range just to get an idea of normal standard low beams versus how far the KCs can go and these are off-road lights, you know what I mean? I'm not, these, I didn't get these for, um, you know, to use on-road while I'm driving against traffic. That's not something you'd want to do. In case you're like me and you don't go off-road, if you do, um, and you go every time at night, these would obviously be really good. Um, you can look into these a lot. I picked KC's for a couple reasons. There's like Pira lights, there's Hella. There's a bunch of lights out there, but these these C were kind of always what I sort of wanted. I really just like the way the KC looks with the guard. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about KC. Um, and one notable thing is they are American made, which is really nice, as opposed to, you know, all the <laughs> Smitty Belt stuff I have, which is uh, not American made. And um, see, made in the USA. It's, it's kind of a proud thing to put on there. But, um,. It's an unboxing video, so we're gonna get into this. I, uh, I ordered these through Amazon. They were about a hundred bucks, um, more like actually like a hundred twenty bucks with the uh, shipping. But uh, like I said, they are the two six-inch round with a uh, integrated guard and a wiring harness. Hundred watt, really, really beautiful. I'm I'm looking forward to putting these on. The whole wiring harness is one of the biggest things I wanted because I'm not. Uh, Oh yeah! Oh, look at that! That looks so good. I'm gonna be real careful with that because I'm one-handing it. Last thing I need is to drop uh, my brand new $120 lights. Let's get one of these out here. Oh my gosh! It looks so nice. Just look at that. That that is a light. That looks really nice. That's gonna look so good on my Jeep. And then comes the problem of uh, originally I was gonna get hinges to put these on the uh, windshield hinges of my Jeep. That is probably my favorite look and what I really like to do. But uh, since long, I've gotten that new Smitty Built bumper. And that has four uh, tabs for uh, lights. So I could put them lower or higher on the middle. I'm probably going to end up going uh, with the lower look as opposed to the higher. Just because they're more covered there and I don't really need them blasting. Like I said, I, uh, I don't go off-road. I probably won't with this Jeep in my ownership. Pretty unlikely. Um, that's just right now. It's the here and now. You never know. Like A year from now, that could change. But um, like I said, I wanted these because I could have just gotten headlight upgrades, but that's just not as much fun as these. Am I right? So these would, uh, you know, when I'm not out in uh, driving in <clears throat> well-lit areas, which I'm usually not. A lot of times I have back roads I go on to get home and going around anywhere. And uh, especially, I remember last winter, there were some really, uh, really bad stormy nights. You know, snow, like blizzards. I couldn't see a thing. My lights didn't feel like they were on. So... These are going to be really good for any situation like that. I mean, these are just beautiful anyways. Just just for show, they look, you know, they look nice. There's no there's no two ways about it. They look really nice. Um, so that was everything in the box. You had the lights packaged nice. In the middle, you had the wiring harness. Um, everything got shipped to me good. I mean, those are always things you see reviews where it's like, uh, it got shipped poorly to me. Well, that's... It's kind of a variable thing, you know what I mean? It's not always the company's fault. It's not uh, the company who shipped its fault, you know what I mean? That, that's a variable thing. So I'll get this open. I have uh, instructions. I'm just going to move these over. Be careful because I don't already... And uh, the other thing I heard about KC's are some, some uh, tend to rust out and stuff, but I think these are made in such a way that they're not going to rust out. I don't have to worry about any of that. 
And like I said, because I'm not going off the road, I don't have to worry about actual rock chips getting up. I mostly wanted the, uh, the guards because it looks really sweet. <laughs> I mean, and I think it's cheaper to buy the guards with it than to buy it separately. So then we got a whole lot of this, and this is something I'm not particularly good at. But over the past year, I've learned uh, a lot. Oh, yeah, there we go, right? That'd be nice if I had the money to get a bunch of lights. Trust me, I would love to just outfit my Jeep with lights. It'd be sweet. But um, we got the whole uh, wiring kit here We're right in front of us. This is everything you'd get in the box if you ordered these. Like I said, I ordered them off Amazon. I can leave a link to where I ordered them. I didn't order them from KC. I ordered them from a, another company, I believe. Um, I mean, I go with the best price, you know what I mean? Okay, so I went ahead and just uh, pulled everything out, tried to organize the harness a bit. The uh, The nice thing about this is it should all be set and not require any cutting or any type of soldering. Like I said, don't, uh, don't let me fool you. I am no pro when it comes to wiring whatsoever. Um, I did have help wiring in my uh, aftermarket radio, but I have the, the concept of that now, so I'm hoping that will kind of transpire into this and uh, I'll be able to figure this out. It shouldn't be too difficult. I am, of course, uh, going to extensively look up a couple guides online, go through the instructions over and over again before I actually attempt to do anything. But uh, I think it's I think the idea behind this, the whole system like this, is that it'll already be uh, pretty uh, reasonable for the person with a general concept of understanding to get. You got just a basic switch, which we got right here. We got the... Uh, don't expect me to tell you all these parts because I don't know them. Probably by the time I've done setting these up, I'll know it back to front. Every little piece here. Got your switch right here. Really nice. I can't wait to be <laughs> clicking that down the road. It's going to be too much fun. Um, the lights look beautiful. I mean, really, they look really nice. And in here, they send you a little brochure with all the other things. They got LEDs, which that's all another ballpark for me. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. But then we got a whole bunch of other Casey lights in here. Just can take you pick at all the types they have, different prices, different, you know, how good they are. I really like the, uh, the Pro Halogen here, those are nice. We got the Apollo. The the slime lights aren't bad either. But uh, I'm that's just uh, looking at more toys, more candy. Which, uh, who knows, maybe I'll have more, but for now, these are these are more than enough. These are going to be plenty for me. Got the whole harness here, like I said, should be straightforward. I'm going to probably make a video as I go along. Uh, after I've you know, done some research to figure out what I'm doing here, but uh, that's not this video. This is an unboxing So this is basically everything you'd get in the uh, the unboxing if you ordered these like I said I'll have a link in the description uh, It's really nice. Also, they also sent uh, zip ties which you know you're gonna want to zip tie the wire to uh, The bumper or whatever you may have it attached to so the wires are you know clean together and That's a nice touch because you know some companies won't even you know throw in the batteries and these guys did so so to speak and uh, that's 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 the kind of thing that makes me want to check out this company again. That's what more companies need to do, which is why I'm glad I ordered from Casey. There were a couple other ones, but these are the ones I wanted to go with. I'm very happy with my decision already, even though they're not up. But I should have everything I need here. There's your wiring harness, little bag of everything uh, small you'll need. You got directions. There are plenty of guides online. I'm going to be going over those. I mean, you can just search the internet for Casey lights. Everyone's got them. Um, the lights themselves will go a little... Gosh, no. <laughs> Last thing, I just know I'm going to be uh, screwing these out of my bumper, and I'm just going to drop them or something. That's that's to be my luck, but you got to go around and get the hook up there so it can be uh, detached to make it easy in case I want to move it around, which is really nice. Uh, the lights themselves are beautiful. The guards are on there. I believe you got a, if you look closely, you got this to, it would twist to take off the guard if I wanted to, but I like I said, I bought it with the guard on, that's so I want it. You can buy these with the guards off, or if you want to take the guard off, can do that too but uh, the light is beautiful of course I'll make a video when I get this all together you got uh, you can adjust it so it's uh, up uh, that way or uh, more this way or maybe you want it pointed down the uh, the bolt there to get on and that's probably the only negative thing I heard about these at all was uh, the nut there might not hold it on quite as firm as you'd want on like your uh, your front bumper if you had something similar to that like I do if you had them up here or down here on the side or in a, a Jeep's case, I know they had a picture of a Jeep here somewhere, which is what I really would like to do, but just in case you have that as well, uh, in case you got them on the window hinges here, you got a bracket to put them on the hinge, or uh, you know anywhere you may have them, light bar, whatever you got. But other than that, this is going to be it for the unboxing. This is everything you'd get. You get the two lights, the wiring harness, the pack here, even some of my zip ties, and some instructions. So, And that's the unboxing for the KC Highlight Apollo Pro 100 Watt long range light system.